Hello, this is Miss Tracy from K-12, Next Generation, and we're going to do our chip trading lesson number four. You need to have your chip trading board, and I'm going to put 50 on my board to begin with, so you want your number cards, your chips, your either your dice, if you're using dice, and you can use three of them this time, or your cards, and add your 10 Jack Queen King in there. Or you can go to this site called Unpractical Math and use a spinner that's there. And this is the website for that. And the spinner can actually be uh, fixed so that it will spin as high as 20. Okay. So uh, you can stop your video and copy this down. And when you have it, start it back up again, and we will trade chips. Okay, good. Now everybody should have that down. If you like it, then bookmark it so you have it to use later time. As I say, today I'm going to start with the number 50 on my board, which means no ones and five tens. And if you want to play along with me, then you're going to put 50 on your board. It should look like this. Okay. Now, I will tell you what number I spin, and I'll write it down on a piece of paper, and then I will add it in and do the trading. But if you want to try and do the trading first, then stop the video and go ahead and make your trade, and then start it back up and see what we have. Okay. And so I have to put my 50 here. And the first number we spun was 18. Okay. So we want to take and put 18 on our board. 18 means 1, 10, and 8 ones. So we put 2, 4, 6, Eight ones and one ten on our board. And now we look to see how many ones do we have. We have eight, two, four, six, eight. And in our tens column, we have five plus one, two, four, six. So we're going to put a 6 here. And let's do it on our paper and see. Do we come up with the same thing? Okay. 0 plus 8 is 8. And 5 plus 1 is 6. 68. Good. Let's see what I spin next. And I will write it down as I spin it. And it is... 16. Yeah, I'm doing some high numbers today. 16. All right. Let's get our 16 out. 16 means 6 ones and 1 ten. So let's get our 6 ones. 2, 4, Six okay. and a one ten. Okay. Now we need to fix our boards, starting with the one column, and we no longer have eight, so we'll get rid of that. What we have is two, four, six, eight, ten. Well, we have 14 on the board now. We have 14. You can't have 14 in one's column. 14, though, means 4 ones and 110. We have to pull this one over here. Let's not get it mixed up with the one that we had there. It's going to put it here. 
where do we get this from? Well, we get it because we have to take 10 of these off the board. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and trade it in to that blue one. There it is. Now we need to be adding these up. We had 6 plus 1 is 7 plus 1 is 8. So these all go up back in our pile and we put 8 on the board. 84. Let's look and see what that looks like here. 8 plus 6 is 14, four ones, and one ten. One plus six is seven, and one is eight. eight. All right, and we'll put that again. And this time, this time we got the biggie, we got a 20. Okay. We got a 20. Let's see what we do with 20. Let's combine these. 20 means zero ones and two tens. So I don't do anything here, but I put two tens here. Now as I fix my board, my 4 will stay because I know that 4 plus 0 is still 4. And now I'm going to take my 2 and bring them up here. And I have no longer 8. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I have 10 in my hundreds place. Now I have the same problem in my tens place that I had in my ones. I can't have ten in my hundreds in my tens place. So the zero stays in the tens place, and the one moves over to the hundreds place. Okay. And let's see what that looks like when I trade. I take off ten chips: two, four, six, eight, ten. Now I know that um, my 10 blue is going to equal 1 red. So I'm going to put the red there and get rid of the blue. And now I have 104 on my board. And let's see if I have 104 when I add. 4 plus 0 is 4. 8 plus 2 is 10, which is a 0 in this column and a 1 in this column. And I carry that one right on down here to make 104. Okay, so we're going to do one more. And then after we finish, I'd like you to play with a partner for another 5 minutes or so and see how high your board will get. Okay, this time I got a nine. All right, and let's look and see what I do with nine. Two, four, six, eight, and one is nine. Okay, there's my nine. Now I have to bring them together because I'm adding them together. Don't have four anymore, so I'm going to put that away because I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. Which means three ones and one ten. So I have to trade ten of these in to get this one ten. So I'm going to take ten off, two. Four, six, eight, 
10, which leaves me with the 3, and trade these in for that 10. So I have three ones, one ten, one hundred. And the number is one hundred thirteen. Okay, let's see how it looks here. Nine plus four is thirteen. Three and one and the ten. Thirteen. I didn't do anything to my ones. It's going to stay the same. And now I have 113. So today, you actually had the opportunity to trade not only in the ones column, but in the tens column to get 100. And as you play uh, some more today, you'll see how many more times you'll have the opportunity to be trading across the whole board between the ones and the tens and into the hundreds. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, and I look forward to hearing how you like that spinner. Next week, we'll do a bigger number with some more chip trading, and we'll look also at writing them an expanded number at the same time. Until then, this is Ms. Tracy saying good day.